Hey guys, how's it going? It's Bill Moore. Well, today I'm going to start my series of review on these space chilies that seem to be all the uh, rage within the uh, chili head community uh, these days. I'm uh, looking forward to tasting these. Now, these were sent to me from Mr. Jim Duffy of Refining Fire Chilies, and he can be located at superhotchilies.com. And uh, if you've seen some of these reviews, uh, you know what these things look like. I mean, they are huge. Just take a look. Here's a couple of them right here. And if you watched uh, the other reviewers, you probably heard the story that, uh, you know, China has an extensive uh, space breeding uh, program that's been going on for several years, actually several decades. They've been sending up seeds of uh, peppers, not only peppers, but vegetables uh, into uh, orbit with uh, recoverable satellites since about the mid-1980s. Uh, spending some time in space, being subjected to the uh, zero gravity and the cosmic radiation, uh, they believe is uh, producing higher yields, um, a better, a bigger produce, and an increase in the level of nutrients. And uh, it sure does do something to the way these things look. Um, now, I was talking, chatting with Jenny uh, Song, and she's the one that uh, she's in the UK. She's the one that provided uh, the seeds to a uh, gym to grow out. Uh, I believe uh, people have been growing them out here in the States for a couple of years at least. And, uh, you know, finding some, uh, having some awesome results. So uh, I think it's really interesting uh, what they're doing. Uh, China has actually um, doubled uh, their uh, investment within the past five or six years into the space breeding program. I mean, they're taking this stuff seriously. I think it probably has a lot to do with their growing huge, massive population. Uh, they say that about half the uh, seeds that farmers uh, obtain for crops in China are imported. Uh, so with this space breeding program, they're really involved in it uh, very extensively. I'll put a link in the description as well for a very interesting uh, website on this China space breeding program that uh, Jenny uh, sent to me. But I also believe it has something to do with probably their uh, future uh, a space station that's scheduled to be uh, assembled around 2020 uh, so that they can take their space breeding uh, program and uh, and do a lot of it up there. But we're going to go ahead and get into this one. Uh, this is the HJ10 Afterglow. So we're going to get into this and see what this tastes like. So here we go. Got an immediate spicy heat to it already. I would say similar to a cayenne. In a way, it seems kind of slightly sweet, but this is pretty spicy. This was getting a little bit soft, so I thought I'd do this one first. Wow. I like the flavor on this one. Um, seems to be a little bit sweet. Not really fruity, but maybe almost, but uh, got a better flavor than a bell pepper. Kind of very similar to a cayenne, but um, I think it's a little bit uh, sweeter than a cayenne. But this has got some pretty good heat to it. Mm. Great flavor on these things, but wow, it's uh, nice. Um, definitely hotter than a jalapeno, in my opinion. Very spicy all over the mouth, but uh, really nice flavor on these things. I mean, I definitely think these are worth... Um, continuing a uh, gym to, to check out. Um, I know he's uh, sending them to chefs, so um, chefs are going to get involved with cooking with them, so I think that's just awesome. But yeah, that's really, uh, that's a pretty spicy one. I think uh, others have said that that's pretty spicy as well, but um, great flavor. Uh, doesn't seem bitter. Uh, it's got a nice aftertaste on it, but uh, that was the Afterglow Space Chili. All right. Well, thanks, Jim, for sending that. I really do appreciate it. Everybody, please check him out. It's Super Hot Chilies. 
dot com. Uh, I believe that the seeds will be available uh, a little bit later on this year. So uh, check him out. Ask him the questions. I don't know, but uh, he'll give you the answers. But uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, don't forget, enjoy the burn. This is burning a little bit. See you guys later.